יום שישי, השעון כבר מראה צהריים, והשמש צועקת לקום, מתארגן, מתלבש מצחצח שיניים, לוקח לי קטן, אני כמעט מוכן, היום הולכים לים. ברדיו הום קולטום נזכר שלא אכלתי כלום. אני חונה שנייה מגיע. בים שישי בצהריים, כל שבוע זה רק פירות מכות ושמיים. כולם זרוקים כאן על החול, ואת עוברת כמו בשיר. אם בגד ים זעיר, אולי הכי יפה בעיר. הראש קצת השעון כבר מראה בין ארבעים והשמש צוללת לאט מתקפל ושוטף את החול ברגליים ואת ממש ממול מנסה להיות קצת קול ואת הלב רק להרגיע מתקרבת בחיוך לחוץ מרגיש חסוך סליחה לאן אתה מגיע כולם זרוקים שם בים שישי בצהריים כל שבוע באישה ענת חייכנית, וזה בדיוק מה שאת אוהבת. אושר מתקרב, הצלחת להתגנב. אור שלא עוזב, הוא מתגלה בחושך, בכל קצוות תבל, מי שהוא מסתכל, אומר תודה לאל, על אהבת אמת, איך שאת רוקדת, גם הלב שלי רוקד איתנו. מים רבים לא יכבו את האש שלנו. רוצה להתמכר לטוב שמתגבר 
עם הלב אומר, בטח שהוא יודע, תכף נתעורר לניגון אחר, לא צריך יותר, יש עוד מסע שלם, איך שאת רוקדת גם הכוכבים רוקדים איתנו. בואי נרוץ רחוק, תני לי רק כמה דקות להיזכר במקומות שאז היינו ילדים לא פחדנו סתם לחיות, בלי המינוס הצרות בלי לתלות את התקוות, כמו כביסה על חבלים כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב, שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים עם יחפות, מזיכרונות ואכזבות שאז רצינו לשחרר כמעט ויתרנו על עצמנו נברח רחוק מהשגרה כמו אז שהסתפקנו באושר הפשוט כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב, שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך, רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב, שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך, רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים
הרגית לי ואני תמיד חיכיתי לך והנה היום הזה הגיע עכשיו מבטיח שאף פעם לא תהי לבד ואם פתאום תעלמי אחכה כל הלילה ואלחש בתפילה שאלי תחזרי ואם תבואי אליי נשאר כל הלילה ואלחש לך מילים שתדעי שאני שלך ובבוקר תראי נשאר ביחד הולכים את הדרך הזו לתמיד יד ביד ואם תבואי אליי נשאר כל הלילה ואלחש לך מילים שתדעי שאני שלך חיכית לי ואני תמיד חיכיתי לך והנה היום הזה הגיע עכשיו מבטיח שאף פעם לא תהי לבד ואם פתאום תעלמי אחכה כל הלילה ואלחש בתפילה שאלי תחזקי ואם תבואי Ladies and gentlemen, please take your virtual seats. This evening's Leonard Litwin New York City Real Estate Tree of Life Virtual Gala will commence in two minutes. השעון כבר מראה צהריים והשמש צועקת לקום, מתארגן מתלבש מצחצח שיניים לוקח לי קטן, אני כמעט מוכן היום הולכים לים ברדיו הום קולטום נזכר שלא אכלתי כלום אני חונה שנייה מגיע בצהריים, כל שבוע זה רק פירות מכות ושמיים, כולם זרוקים כאן על החול, ואת עוברת כמו בשיר, עם בגד ים זעיר, אולי הכי יפה בעיר. הראש קצת מסתובב, הלב מרגיש רעב, פירות שמש זה שילוב Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice Chairman, Vornado Realty Trust, and Jewish National Fund USA, National and New York Board Member, David Greenbaum. Good evening. As a past Tree of Life honoree, along with my wife, Loren, 
back in 2011. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to this evening's New York City Real Estate Leonard Litwin Tree of Life Award Gala. This evening, we will pay tribute to our Tree of Life honorees, Deborah Regal and Michelle Bernstein, and celebrate our love and support for the land and people of Israel. JNF USA is a critically important charity to which my wife and I have dedicated our philanthropic giving and time. We currently are the lead JNF donor funding a new food agritech campus in the Galilee in Kiryat Shimona in a partnership between JNF and Arel Margalit. I would like to acknowledge the generous support of this evening's sponsors. We all know it's been a difficult year in the real estate industry and your support is very much appreciated. I'd also like to mention the recent challenging time in Israel and the importance of supporting the work of the Jewish National Fund on the ground, both in times of crisis and in times of peace. Our past efforts today are helping keep the people of Israel safe. Whatever one's view of the current situation, there can never be justification for deliberately targeting civilian populations in Israel. This current conflict, however, has an additional complexity with the deeply disturbing tragedy of civil unrest in Israeli cities with mixed Arab and Israeli populations, fueled by extremists on both sides. Only two years ago, when Lorraine and I were last in Israel, we were up in the Galilee. We first went to Kiryat Shmona to see where the new JNF Food Tech campus will be located. And then we went to a peaceful city on the Mediterranean, Akko, where we stayed at the Effendi Hotel and had dinner at Uri Buri. I truly was amazed that the two religions coexisted as one. Arab and Jew sleeping in the same hotel, which by the way, was right next to the mosque where I was awakened by the dawn minaret call to prayer. An Arab and Jew eating dinner, having a bottle of wine together, sharing joyous times. Sadly, both the hotel and the restaurant were torched by Arab extremists. Fortunately, Uri announced immediately after the night of terror, and I quote here, nothing will break me. We will renovate, we will reopen. Both the hotel and the restaurant will remain a model of coexistence. At JNF, you don't just invest your philanthropic dollars. You also invest your time and energy in creating a better future for the land and the people of Israel. Let us not lose hope that a time and place without war is achievable. Ozzy Schwartz, the world-renowned cantor at Park Avenue Synagogue, will now sing Hashkivenu, a prayer for peace, which will be followed by the singing of the Israeli national anthem, Atikva. Good evening and thank you. Hashkivenu. Adonai Eloheinu le shalom Vehamideinu malkeinu malkeinu le Hashkiveinu Adonai Hallelu <laughs> Ufros aleinu, ufros aleinu, 
סוכת שלומך, השכיבנו אדוני אלוהינו בשלום, והעמידנו מלכנו, מלכנו Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome New York JN Future President Emeritus, Lauren Breskin. Good evening. My name is Lauren Breskin, and I am honored to be introducing the 2021 Gregory A. Davis Award at JNF's Tree of Life Gala. When I received this award over two years ago, I knew I would be continuing the tradition of passing the torch to the next recipient. And although this past year has been anything but traditional, it is nice to know that some things remain immutable. Gregory Davis was a true founding member of the first JNF Future chapter in the country and worked very hard on the first two Shabbats in the park. Tragically, Greg lost his life in his late 20s, but his legacy lives on each year at the Tree of Life Gala. This award exemplifies leadership and represents a perpetual dedication to work on behalf of Israel and JNF. I cannot think of a more deserving member of the JNF community than Michelle Bernstein to receive this honor. Michelle has been involved with JNF since 2009 and currently serves as co chair of JNF's real estate cabinet and on the New York board. Michelle has traveled with JNF on multiple missions, including on a JNF future leadership mission, as well as with the Housing Development Fund Task Force, of which she is a valuable member. She has attended dozens of JNF national conferences, planned events, and has grown JNF's real estate division. Professionally, Michelle is the definition of a leader, president and founder of her very own construction firm, Mitre Construction. Michelle is a very special leader at Jewish National Fund USA and to the Jewish community at large. She brings people together through her passion for Israel, her intellect, and business acumen. With that said, it is my honor to present Michelle with the Gregory A. Davis Award. Mazel tov. Thank you, Lauren. It is an honor to be a part of a group of Jewish leaders who are the future of philanthropy and the future of Israel. I want to congratulate Debbie Regal on your well-deserved award. Mazel tov to you. I stand here accepting this award after what many of us consider to be one of the most challenging years of our lives. Prouder than ever to be associated with Jewish National Fund, 
proud to serve as a lay leader at a leading organization that counts on donors from across the religious, economic, and political spectra, an organization that gives everyone a voice, whatever their age. And with our collective voices, JNF continues to be a vibrant community that applies its ideals to produce real-world solutions. With all of our voices, JNF continues to be a moral leader, transforming the landscape of Israel. And with all of our voices, JNF serves as an example for our community and the world. Being a part of this organization has enriched my life and inspired me in countless ways. I vividly remember attending one of the, my first JNF real estate events in 2008. The sense of community I felt was apparent from the onset. Little did I know then where my JNF journey would take me. In 2011, I was a proud participant of the first JLIM mission to Israel. It was a privilege to travel through Israel with a group of like-minded individuals from across the country. From visiting Steyrot's Indoor Recreation Center, protecting children in the region, to listening to the passionate mayor of Beersheba regale us with the innovative vision for the Beersheba River Park, I quickly learned that JNF was a whole lot more than just trees. I was forever impacted. This trip opened my eyes to the vast landscape of initiatives with which JNF is affiliated and solidified my support for the organization and my connection to Israel. Since then, I've joined the Housing Development Fund Task Force and traveled with the HDF to Israel twice in 2019. During one of those trips, I saw the Beersheba dream come to life as the area had turned into a thriving destination. These trips highlighted the work we are doing and my ability to be engaged and involved and see firsthand how we help make dreams become reality. JNF is an organization that empowers its lay leaders to have a strong voice. In 2019, my co-chair and I started a real estate cabinet in New York City that has grown despite the unique challenges of the past year. The engagement of the board and support of professionals creates an environment where success can be achieved by the collective. My involvement with JNF is enriching, rewarding, and illuminating. One of the mottos my mother instilled in me is to leave the world a better place than when I entered it. Though she unfortunately passed away in November after a valiant battle with cancer, I hear those words ringing loudly today through my JNF involvement. Though she is not with us, I know how proud she would be. A few weeks ago, my family had the opportunity to participate in the most meaningful Zoom dedication in Israel in memory of my mother, the beautification of a bomb shelter in Stero next to a playground. My hope is that the happy and colorful drawings depicted on this shelter help alleviate the fear and anxiety all too often felt by children in the area. The significance of these shelters has been highlighted by recent events, and this is our small improvement in the world. So thank you, Mom, for conveying this deep wisdom and passion that I carry with me every day. At the core, JNF is an organization that allows me to have an impact that can be seen, felt, and experienced. I look forward to my continued and future involvement and to see how my JNF story continues to unfold. I look forward to returning to Israel in the near future. Thank you, JNF, for this incredible honor and thank you to the New York professionals for your leadership and guidance. Thank you to all of those listening for showing up to support me and an organization so close to my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jewish National Fund USA, National Chairperson of the Board and Chairman of Douglaston Development, Jeffrey Levine. Good evening. I'm delighted to present the Tree of Life Award to this year's honoree, Deborah Regal. Throughout history, Jews gathered at events like this, and unfortunately too many times in secret, to recall our people's story while celebrating those in our community who strengthen and sustain us. At Jewish National Fund USA, we often ask, what's your why? Why did you get involved? Why do you support the land and people of Israel? Whatever we do, whether it is in our professional or personal lives, it is so important to always be thinking about our why. As chairman of JNF USA, my why comes down to three words, action, vision, and hope. When I say action, I am referring to Jewish National Fund USA's 120 year track record of making the desert bloom populating the Negev and the Galilee, improving quality of life and helping Jews around the world make Aliyah, connecting Jewish high school and college students to Israel and so much more. 
When I say vision, I am talking about our $1 billion roadmap for the next decade that paves the way for us to attract 800,000 Israelis from the center of the country to the north and the south. And when I say hope, I am talking about something as simple as the great big smile on a child's face as they explore a new playground that JNF USA built for them and their friends. It is now my honor to present this year's Tree of Life honoree to my dear friend, Deborah Regal. Deborah Regal is a partner at Rosenberg Estes PC and senior member of the firm's litigation department. Debbie also sits on the national board of Jewish National Fund USA and is the president of JNF USA's New York board. She is an incoming chair of Nefesh Benefesh Task Force. And in addition to her philanthropic work with JNF, Deborah is president elect of the Brooklyn Law School Alumni Association. Deborah, mazel tov on your accomplishments in both your professional and personal life. And I would like to thank you for all that you do for the land and the people of Israel. Thank you, Jeff, for that very kind introduction. And before I begin, let me thank this evening's virtual dinner chairs and committee to whom I am so grateful for tonight's success. Congratulations to my fellow honorees, Michelle Bernstein, for receiving the Gregory A. Davis Leadership Award, and to Ari Rubenstein, representing all of the frontline workers who worked so tirelessly this year at personal risk to themselves to help us all come through this pandemic. With Michelle and Ari, I know that the future of JNF is in extraordinary hands. Let me start by saying how humbled and grateful I am to receive the New York City Real Estate Leonard Litwin Tree of Life Award. JNF has a proud history of recognizing outstanding community involvement, professional leadership, and humanitarian service among the New York City real estate community. And I am honored to join the ranks of our extraordinary past honorees including both David and Jeff. People often ask me why I support Israel, and in the last two weeks I have been challenged more than ever to explain. To answer that question requires me to tell you about my childhood and upbringing and some of the most influential people in my life. I attended a Solomon Schechter Day School from kindergarten until I graduated from high school because Jewish education was so important to my parents who unquestionably sacrificed to send three kids to private day school. I don't remember a time in my life that Jewish identity and Israel were not front and center. My earliest memory of JNF was buying tree certificates each year for Chubi Shvat, and my love of Israel was encouraged and grew because of my favorite teacher, Tova Blum. Gverit Blum emigrated to Israel from Poland, served in the Haganah, lived Yom Ha'atzma'ut in 1948, and continued her service in the IDF until coming to New York. Everything about her entranced me. So when given the opportunity to travel to Israel with her after my bat mitzvah, I leapt at the chance, as did my friends Julie and Karen. I planted my first live tree in Israel on that trip and was shocked to learn that I could not find any of my trees to match all of the tree certificates I had purchased. Little did I know that that trip and the tree planting was the beginning of my journey to my adult involvement in JNF and was life-changing for all of us, particularly Karen. Fast forward many years, and I had traveled extensively but had not returned to Israel. And after two weeks in Israel with a friend, that passion and in instant connection was rekindled. Luckily, professional connections brought me back to JNF when I was invited to join the New York board, not then knowing much more about the incredible work we do than I did as a child buying tree certificates. Shortly after joining the board, I was in Greece and made a decision to spend my last weekend of vacation in Tel Aviv, where I had an eye and heart opening experience. My day started at 7.45 a.m. I had no idea what I was in for. The day was jam packed with incredible experiences and the two indelible moments were without doubt the Sterot Indoor Playground and Adi Negev. In Sterot, I got to play with the children who have only 15 seconds to reach a shelter in the event of rocket fire from Gaza. 
and where for the first time I saw a Katusha rocket up close. The sheer freedom to run and play without fear is so normal to us and something we take for granted. Not so for these kids who without JNF would otherwise live in constant fear. If Sterot was not emotional enough, Adi Negev was at the same time gut-wrenching and inspiring. The incredible and beautiful rebuilt rehabilitative village supports developmentally disabled children and their families in a multitude of ways. We can all appreciate that intellectually, but my experience that day seared my soul in a way I could never have imagined. While touring the hydrotherapy center, the staff brought a resident in for therapy. This young boy who was probably 10 to 12 years old was in a wheelchair. And as I watched his lack of control of his own body, the twitching and the spasms, which were obvious, my heart went out. Then the moment happened. I stood and watched as the staff put this young boy into a seat to lower him into the pool for treatment. The involuntary movements continued and perhaps even accelerated as he was jostled and transferred. Then he hit the water and he was released and in that instant was still and at peace. And literally in the blink of that eye, I was hooked. That instant of peace that our hard work and donations brought was everything. My weekend in Tel Aviv could not have ended more fittingly and brings me back to Karen. Julie Karen and I returned from that first trip changed and inspired, but no one more immediately than Karen who spent her junior year at Kfar Bloom. In turn, her year on kibbutz instilled in Karen the knowledge that Israel is home and the determination to make Aliyah. Years later, Karen fulfilled her dream when she and her family made Aliyah with Nefesh Benefesh. The joyful photo of her and her family stepping off the Aliyah flight is indelibly etched in my memory. You don't need to know them to feel their joy, relief, contentment, and pride in having achieved a lifelong dream. So I ended my trip with coffee with Karen who by then had sons in the IDF and more than a few grandchildren, catching up, talking about old friends, our first trip to Israel, and life. A simple but profound moment that reminded me why I love Israel and its people so very much, and why our support for Nefesh Benefesh and its work helping families like Karen's make Aliyah is so personal for me. Which brings me to tonight. When we say Am Yisrael Chai, we proudly declare, declare that the Jewish people live. We don't just exist, we live. That sentiment was challenged over the last several weeks. And I, like you, could not watch the news without thinking of the children of Sterot with whom I ran and played, who could not leave their homes, or of the thousands of brave Olim who have not only maintained their commitment to live in Israel, but the ones who are still in North America, and rather than wavering, called clamoring to go so that they could be with their people or the lone soldiers separated from their families by thousands of miles defending Israel against terror. Most of all, my heart breaks for the residents of the Gaza envelope who bore the brunt of these hostilities with dignity and grace under pressure and for their children whose innocence has been shattered and who will long suffer from PTSD. Many of those residents of were residents of Gaza who gave up their homes in the disengagement in the hope of peace. They moved to the Gaza-Egypt Triangle to face both rocket attacks from Gaza and Sinai, as well as incendiary balloons that burn their fields. And yet, they thrive. But JNF's commitment to Israel is not only evident in a crisis. As the original real estate developers repurchasing the land of Israel, JNF USA was with the people and the land of Israel yesterday. We are there today, and we will be there tomorrow. Our investments help farmers from development countries and developing countries from in Asia and Africa to travel to Israel to learn cutting edge sustainable farming practices that they implement in their home countries. JNF USA has helped Israel become the first civilization to face off an existential water crisis and win. Today, Israel leads, leads the world in water recycling, utilizing 90% of recycled wastewater for agriculture, and helps Israel na Israel's neighbors develop sustainable water solutions while ensuring that people throughout the region can have access to safe, clean water. Thanks to all of us, we are also helping Israel's most vulnerable. Throughout the pandemic, Jewish National Fund USA has been, one of the ground, has been on the ground delivering thousands of meals to Holocaust survivors, 
helping elderly Israelis access medication and supplying laptops to children with disabilities so that they can continue to receive therapy online. We are providing accessible hiking trails to disabled Israelis and their families, rehabilitative services through Adi Negev, and the chance for developmentally disabled young men and women to serve in the IDF just as every member of Israeli society does through special in uniform. And the list of amazing and life-changing initiatives go on. If there is a need, we are there as a partner through community building and development, building hospitals, schools, and housing. Please join me in developing the Israeli landscape as we have all continued, contributed to developing the New York City skyline. I would last like to take this opportunity to thank my family, my dad who continues to encourage and support my work for JNF, and my mom who would have been quietly beaming, oh, gonna get through that line, and my mom who would have been quietly beaming at this incredible honor. I'd also like to thank my partners and colleagues at Rosenberg and Estes who have supported me in my philanthropic work. Because of them and because of all of our generous sponsors tonight, I have been able to make an impact on Israel and the Jewish world that I hope will be felt for generations to come. Others say, give until it hurts. At JNF, we say, give until it feels good. There is no better feeling than helping our family in Israel grow and succeed. That's why I support Jewish National Fund USA, and I encourage all of you to join me in supporting the land and people of Israel and our people's future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jewish National Fund USA's Halutza liaison, Yadidya Harush. Hello, welcome to Halutza. I'm so excited to host you here in this very special, unique corner where Egypt and Gaza meet all the way down the Western Negev, Northern Western Negev. Halutza is a big desert that no one ever wanted to come and rebuild and develop. But a group of people who were evacuated from their homes in Gush Katif, in the Gaza Strip, decided to take upon themselves this mission of building the state of Israel and were sent here by the government. Look at it. All sand. No one ever thought that anything can grow here. This was a place of death, a cursed land, like I and our neighbors used to, to call this place. I was born and raised in the Gaza Strip. I came here as a kid when everybody else said to us, this is the place, don't go there. Join me to see what we did here. Hey, we're back. Back to 2020. I know it's hard to believe what we managed to do in such short time. Look at it. Look at this beautiful produce. I just picked it just now. This grows here in the cursed land. In the place that nothing can grow in. Over 80 species of fruits and vegetables. 2,000 people. Schools, medical centers, community centers, synagogues, daycare centers, kindergartens, chickens for eggs and cows for milk, and so much more. It's all thanks to the Jewish National Fund who partnered with us and believed in us and still believe in us. And together, we're completing this vision of building the Negev, of bringing 15,000 people to this area, of helping to fulfill the blueprint Negev initiative the Jewish National Fund invented back in the early 2000s. And together we will grow into 15,000 people. Because for us, even the sky is not the limit. Even when we get rockets from Egypt, rockets from Gaza, ISIS, Hamas, sandstorms, wind, distance, whatnot. We will overcome everything, because together we can. Together we can believe, and together we can achieve. Am Israel Chai, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please welcome JN Future New York board member and paramedic, Ari Rubenstein. Thank you. I am honored to be standing here this evening representing first responders and healthcare workers on the front lines of the COVID pandemic. In a year of tremendous challenges and loss, healthcare workers and first responders served as a constant source of healing and comfort around the world. As a New York City paramedic, I responded to people's homes with limited information and a virus that we learned how to treat along the way. These people were sick and they were scared, but so were we. By now you have heard the stories of limited PPE, overwhelmed hospital systems, shortages of medical equipment and beds. In March of last year, New York City EMS broke the daily record of medical calls previously held by September 11th on a single day. That same month, as a member of the National Disaster Medical System, I was sent on my first COVID deployment to work in an intensive care unit in Georgia. Throughout the year, I joined teams in Texas, Louisiana, Wisconsin, and Arizona, seeing the progression of the disease from ERs and ICUs to antibody infusion clinics, and eventually to vaccination sites with teams of skilled, compassionate healthcare professionals. In New York, my neighbors cheered and banged pots and pans each night to thank healthcare workers. They would sometimes clap as I walked home from the hospital, but I often sat alone in my apartment while quarantined between shifts. I cried tears of loneliness and fear, literally scared each day to get back on the ambulance and do a job that I love. And I cried tears of pride and appreciation to be fulfilling the work I believe I was put on earth to do. I felt at the same time exceptionally alone and honored to be working side by side with so many other healthcare heroes. Tonight, I also represent JNF Future, the fastest growing segment of JNF donors, those between the ages of 22 and 40 years old. My friends from JNF Future have become like family and during this time made me feel so appreciated and so loved. Sarah Armet delivered her famous chocolate, Matthew Amsterdam dropped off hot meals and others brought groceries and hala, sometimes standing outside of my window to visit me from a distance. JNF Future members around the country checked in on me by call and text and JNF provided a welcome escape from the pandemic with entertaining and educational programming about Israel and the amazing work of the Jewish National Fund. In 2001, I spent my first year after graduating high school on the Nativ College Leadership Program in Israel. The choice to study in Israel during the Second Intifada undoubtedly influenced my decision to become a first responder. Being in Jerusalem on September 11th made me feel so distant from home and worried for my friends and family in the United States. When rockets from Gaza began hitting our kibbutz in 2002, I felt the ground shaking from inside my room and in the chicken coop, and our program was cut short. Today, I feel a similar distance from Israel as it protects and defends itself from attacks. But I know that Sterot, the nearest city to my old kibbutz, is protected by bomb shelters at bus stops and playgrounds provided by the Jewish National Fund. I know that kibbutz's fields are protected from fires by JNF's Israeli fire and rescue stations, and residents throughout the periphery are cared for by hospitals also funded by the Jewish National Fund. And when this is over, JNF will help to rebuild those communities with projects like the Louder Employment Center, tourism and travel, therapy and trauma resilience centers, and building homes in new communities. The same lessons that guided me to become a first responder, love your neighbor as yourself, do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor, and do not separate yourself from the community, are the reason that I am a proud Zionist, an active member of my community, and a JNF future board member. For me, the last 15 months have been an opportunity to refocus and prioritize on what is truly important. As we recover from this year, I hope each of us can see the opportunity for doing our part in repairing the world. If you have never made a gift to Jewish National Fund, now is your opportunity. By now, you should have received a text message and email with instructions on how to donate today to support Israel's future tomorrow. Today, I am asking you to help me build and strengthen our communities and the land and people of Israel. There has never been a more important time to support Jewish National Fund USA's philanthropic work. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bornado Realty Trust Executive Vice President and Jewish National Fund USA New York Board Member, Glenn Weiss. Jeff, David, members of the JNF Board of Directors and all supporters of the Jewish National Fund, thank you for joining us tonight. Congratulations to Debbie, Michelle, and Ari. And thank you for all that you have done and continue to do to further our mission. As leaders in the real estate industry, we are privileged to be in the position to transform landscapes and, and improve quality of life throughout the state of Israel. 
It is our moral obligation to use this privilege to create positive change in the world around us and the land and people of Israel. JNF gives us the voice to do so. Please save the date for our golf outing on August 9th at Fresh Meadow Country Club and join us in Israel in 2022 for JNF's first real estate mission to Israel. The doors to the main room featuring this evening's entertainment are now open. We will now join other JNF regions across the United States for our program featuring Henry Winkler and Marley Matlin. Enjoy and have a great evening. In just a few minutes, we will join thousands of other passionate supporters of Jewish National Fund USA and Israel. So sit back and relax as we virtually welcome you into the main room. <laughs> 